now, another MTG Casual Commander. Hello, everybody. What is going on? We are here with another MTG Casual Commander unboxing and a little spoiler on our end of the summer giveaway. Now, we did hit some cool numbers, uh, good numbers going up at the end of the slow season of summer. So we didn't hit our goals per se, but we are going to give away one of these sweet Wilds of Eldraine bundles. Um, and you're going to have to just subscribe and stay tuned because later this week we'll probably be giving this away to one of the viewers. Um, but we're also, we also have one to open just so you can see what you might win. Um, I think one of them at the store looked like somebody tried to open it. Yeah, it's this one. Um, so I'm going to open this one so that the one we send off has no scuffs, scratches, or marks on it for you. Unless Dashner drop kicks it. So, uh, we had eight set boosters in this bundle. Uh, in case you're thinking about buying them, uh, you're gonna we're gonna get that oversized spin down life counter, and we need this one because it matches the black team so well that we can use that for all of our games. Um, Eight twelve card set boosters. We get an alt art traditional lich knights conquest card in this pack, and then of course the box. And let's just get right into this sucker. Also, you know what? Open the lamp pack. I've been watching videos of people open this, and they've had misprinted lamp lamp packs, where they're really miscut. I have a whole box of unopened land packs. <laughs> I have um, two boxes. We got the gingerbread dude running away from the wolf. And All right, guys, know your roles. This is uh, actually a new mechanic, uh, the roll mechanic in magic there are quite a few uh young hero uh royal monster wicked and cursed and they are um kind of like mini enchantments that go on your creatures as you play now when i went to draft i was like sweet these things are gonna stack no if you're putting a roll on your creature you got to sacrifice the other roll that's on it in order to put it on there so you only get one at a time it's like really weak enchantments that don't stack. Um, I thought it was gonna be a really broken mechanic and it actually is very, very balanced. It doesn't really change the game like the Tempted by the Ring or anything like that. So let's take a look at this box. It's really cool. Uh, and I broke a box recently, so we will definitely use that. And the die I was talking about for the black team Looks like it's kind of pre-scuffed. It's got some sparkling in it a little bit. Really cool. There's a set symbol. And let's go ahead and dig right in here. We have, that's our regular land pack. You can tell, just looking through there. And wax paper packs. And we have a rare with some foil lands in this one. It looks like that rare is going to be Oh yeah, we already read that. Shoot, we'll get right rid of that thing right there. We'll get into these eight packs. Let's see if we get anything good. Wilds of Eldraine, set booster number one. Here we go. Again, with these unboxings, I am not going to read all of the commons and uncommons. That would take way too long. Uh, but I will hold them here for just a second so you can... Pause your screen and read them if you want to. We got a Beanstalk Worm, Luna's Gatekeeper, Bellowing Bruiser, Spell Scorn Coven, Coven, Knight of Doves, the Cheeky House Mouse. He was so good in draft. He did so much damage. And for one white and a two one, you would think that this would be a Savannah Lion, but no, it's a mouse. It is a mouse. Tattered Ratter. Storyteller Pixie. Lich Knight's Conquest. So, first pack and we already got two of these babies. Sacrifice any number of artifacts, enchantments, and or tokens. Return that many creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Mm. Alright. Leyline of Anticipation. I can always use another one of these. 
you can cast spells as though they had flash and you don't even have to pay for it if it's in your opening hand you get it for free we have a foil griffin airy and a rat token for pack one all right pack two moving on along i've been uh, working building a a fence in my backyard or fixing a fence in my backyard rather so I do apologize about them dirty fingernails I will clean them before I eat something <laughs> so here we go art card that swamp actually looks really cool in foil a conceited witch it's the worst kind porch the tower return triumphant charmed cloth ear a Picnic Ruiner, Goblin for Benny, Ruby Darling Tractor, we got a Witch Stalker Frenzy, Restless Bivouac, Sir Ginger, the Meal Ender, this guy is actually really cool, uh, he has Trample, Hexproof, and Haste as long as an opponent controls a Planeswalker, and whenever an artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on him and scry one. And you can also pay two and sacrifice him and gain life equal to his power. Uh, really value for two. Yeah, that's a lot of words on your card for two mana. We got a curiosity. A borrow naughty. Foil. Fairy. And a cool looking beast token on pack two. Moving on to pack three. What do we got going on with pack three? Ooh, all right. Please. Toadstool Admirer, Evolving Wilds, uh, Root Rider Fawn, Merfolk Coral Smith, Gallant Pie Wielder, Stroke of Midnight, Ash Party Crasher, a uh, human peasant. Belligerent of the ball. Ogre. Charming Scoundrel. Here's our rare haste. When Charming Scoundrel enters the battlefield, choose one. You can discard a card and draw a card. You could create a treasure token, or you can create a wicked roll token attached to target creature you control. <laughs> I don't know. That's not a great rare, but Garuk's Uprising. And a Sweet Tooth Rich, Witch Foil. Pie looks pretty amazing in foil. Bird. And keep it moving. Yeah, we wanna, we wanna get through this for you. I don't wanna waste your whole day on this box, uh, but thank you for stopping by and watching this with us. Um, giving you an idea of what you're gonna get if you buy one of these bundles and also we're going to give one of these suckers away, and there's no way around it. Just keep tuned in to our channel, and within this week, we will be giving away a entire Wilds of Eldraine bundle for you guys, because we appreciate you so much. Tell your uh, friends. Yeah, tell your friends. Unruly Catapult, Living Lectern, Glass Casket, The Princess Takes Flight, Dutiful Griffin, Thread Bind Click, or Fairies, Red Cap Gutter Dweller, that is a rare goblin with menace. When Red Cap Gutter Dweller enters the battlefield, create two 1 1 black rat creature tokens with this creature can't block. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, put a 1 1 counter on Red Cap Gutter Dweller and exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. Do not give that to Benny J. This is my issue with this card, is if you've got a goblin, you want it in a goblin deck. Why is this thing making rats? Uh, because but, the rats can't block, so you sacrifice the rats. Yeah, I'd sacrifice those rats, yeah, is what I do. Yeah, sacrificing the rats. Yeah. And we got a second uh, rare in this pack, Donna Hope. Whenever you gain life, you can pay two. If you do, draw a card. You pay four and create a one, one white soldier creature token with lifelink. Cre or yeah, creature tokens with uh, lifelink, though, are are really kind of cool. And another belligerent of the ball. This is going to be... So these are those rolls we were talking about. Um, so the monster roll gives enchanting creature gets plus one, plus one, and trample. 
And sorcerer gets enchanted creature gets plus one plus one has whenever this creature attacks scry one with that shameless advertising on the end. What's that? Oh yeah, I know that. I know that. We got Johnny Boy on his way. He's got a tin of Lord of the Rings, I believe, or is it? Lord of the Rings. It is two. We got Dash and Johnny Boy coming today with tins of Lord of the Rings, and we will make them face off to see who has the better tin. Hopefully they didn't both get the same tin. Uh, Forest. We got a Ginger Brute. He's back. Territorial Witch Stalker. Leaping Ambush. Splashy Spellcaster. Godwick First Duel. Welcome to Sweet Tooth. Back for Seconds. Cruel Somnophage. Uh, this is a nightmare with adventure. Uh, can't wake up. Uh, target player mills four cards. And then that would go to... Um, then you could cast this after his adventure for a creature. Or you could just cast him as a creature right off the bat. Uh, his power and toughness are each equal to the number of creature cards in all graveyards. So for two mana, he's going to get big. That, yeah, that could be really, really actually pretty cool in, a, in the right deck. Lord Skitter the Sewer King. Whenever another rat enters the battlefield under your control, exile up to one target card from an opponent's graveyard. At the beginning of combat, on your turn, create a 1-1 one, one black rat creature token with this creature can't block. I pulled that, uh, I have a rat deck, so guess who the new commander is. <laughs> is, that the, is that your new commander? Yep. Oh, man. We've got a Grasp of Fate and a Foil Flick of Coin. I like the art on this card. Uh, I like that... Um, that perspective of like having a little tiny camera or a camera sitting on the table. But it is what it is. Elemental. What do you guys like out of this set? I mean, of course, the, uh, yeah, all the confetti foils, the doubling seasons and all of that are awesome. But for actual brand new Wilds of Eldraine cards, what are you guys liking here? What do you see? What do you, what do you know? Let us know. That's a cool little... Island there into the Fey Court. Sting Blade Assassin. A Mocking Sprite. Twisted Fealty. Witch's Vanity. A Cursed Courtier. Provisions Merchant. Extraordinary Journey. All right. When this enters the battlefield, exile up to X target creatures. For each of those cards, its owner may play it for as long as it remains exiled. Whenever one or more to non-token creatures enters the battlefield, if one or more of them entered from exile or was cast from exile, you draw a card, and this ability can trigger only one time each turn. Um, I got mixed feelings about that card. Phyrixian Unlife. You know I love this card. I've got this in a couple of decks, um, and I'll put it in another one. Uh, you don't lose the game for having zero or less life. As long as you have zero or less life, all damage that is dealt to you as though the source had infect. Now, when you team this up with the Malyra, um, you don't, it, she says that you can't get poison counters. So this makes it so your life can't go past zero. You can't lose the game and you can't get poison counters. So it's not a stalemate. It's a, you can beat everybody's face in while they can't damage you. <laughs> so there. Future combo incoming. Yeah, Utopia Sprawl. I like this card as well. And a Hearth Elemental. Hearth Elemental. Food token. What are we at? The last pack? Nope, we got two left. We're going to hurry right through these puppies. So um, I don't know where you're from, but around here, these boxes are about 45 bucks a piece. Um... And I can tell you right now, we didn't get the value out of it that we put into it. But that's okay. This is this is just a sampler for you to see what is inside of one of these boxes. So, Swamp, we got a Hollow Scavenger, Commune with Nature, Feed the Cauldron, a Scream Puff, Night of the Sweet's Revenge, a Tough Cookie. Oh man, he does look tough. Wow. He's a food golem. Greta, Sweet Tooth Scourge. We got a Gingerbread Hunter. K 
Hellion, the Fey-Blooded Mythic. It's got Birthright Boon. Search your library for an aura or equipment card, reveal it, and put it in your hand, and then shuffle. That's pretty awesome. But if you just play it as a creature, it has Double Strike. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus zero for each aura and equipment attached to this guy. Woo. That could be pretty, pretty spicy for three. Um, I kind of like that guy, actually. I'll, th I'll think about that. Yeah. Ooh. We got another Grave Pact. Uh, I've only opened like this box and two packs of um, Wilds of Eldraine, but I am now on third full art Grave Pact. <laughs> one in the same box? Uh, not in this box. Oh. Uh, whenever a creature you control dies, each other player sacrifices a creature. Um, That's really fun. Yeah, really fun. And a Restless Spire foil. All right. Nice. Um, that's going to enter the battlefield tap. Those are them dang tap lands. Yuck. But I do use them. We're playing casual commander around here, so. Yeah, if you got on turn one, it's a perfect play because you can't play nothing anyway. Yeah. Unless you're cheating, getting soul rings out on turn one. And shame on you if you're doing There's that. a lot of people that think soul rings should be banned. Uh, I don't think soul rings should be banned. It's, uh, it's real easy to counter it or destroy it if you don't like it that bad. So anybody that thinks Soul Ring should be banned, you're not, I'm not going to call you wrong, but you're just not right. <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below. <laughs> Plunge into Winter, Crystal Grotto, something big here. Kellyan's Light Blades, or Kellen's Light Blades, we already pulled the Kellen uh, to go with those. All yeah, right, last pack mojo. Howling Gale Fang, Storm Kelp Vanguard, Galvanic, Galvanic Giant, an Archive Dragon, and Court of Arvindvi Ardenvale. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, the Court of Ardenvale enters the battlefield. You become the Monarch, so it's already okay, but not for four. But at the beginning of your upkeep, return target permanent card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to your hand. If you're the Monarch, return that permanent card to the battlefield instead. Now that is worth four mana. Uh, Court of Ar Ardenvale. I'll use that in something. Yeah, how many really good equipments are three or less? Yeah. Swift of Boots. <laughs> Whipples of Cloak. Whispers of Cloak, yeah. Keep returning it. And a Goose Mother. It's the Bird Hydra. Goose Mother enters the battlefield with X11 counters on it, which is what you end up paying up here for it. And then when Goose Mother enters the battlefield, create half X food tokens, round it up, when the Goose Mother attacks, you may sacrifice the food if you do draw a card. So a little bit of draw card. Yeah, a little bit of draw card advantage, but uh, in blue and green, you really don't need that. So I'm going to pass on the Goose Mother. we got a Dragon Mantle. Enters the battlefield, draw a card. Um, and then Fire Breathing. And Chancellor of Tales. Whenever you cast an adventure card, you may copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. Oh, and we get a list card for the last one, a Spined Fluke. When it comes to play, sack a creature, and you can pay one to regenerate him at any point for a 5-1 for three. You could do some early game beat down with that guy. Yeah, that's pretty nice. But uh, I think the uh, main... Probably the best card that I got in here, or the most valuable card, is probably that um, Grave Pact right there, I would I would think. I haven't looked these up yet. But uh, that was that was a Wilds of Eldraine bundle. Boy, was it wild. Oh, yeah, I feel, I feel like a wild maniac right now. You get a stack of cards like that, the dice, the box. Ooh, yeah, the cool purple one. Yeah, it's for uh, the black team. When they when they battle, we, they can roll that dice from now on. And then, as we said before, this one, we're not going to open. This one, we're going to give away. So please, by all means, uh, check us out this week. Uh, throughout the week, we're going to have a video up, and we will do a giveaway uh, and send this puppy off to somebody. Hopefully, they got a little better cards than I did, but I can't complain. This was not a horrible pack, and these are not, like, uh, super expensive like the last few sets. So. And, and they're a lot of fun to play. There's a lot of good cards in the set that are just fun to play. 
Yeah, the Enchanted Tales cards are all older cards that they reprinted, but they are useful and they're they're definitely playable. And um, Unfortunately, that's yeah, it looks like this box is a little dinged up there too, but that's okay. This one we will send off. Um, let us know if you want to be in that giveaway and we'll tag you as soon as we post that video. Otherwise, we will just give it away to the give people away. on the video. And the winner, actually, I want to add something really quick. The winner will have a choice. If they want to pay less for shipping, we can open it for you on camera if you'd like and pay <laughs> less for shipping. It's up to the winner. We pay for all the shipping here, Dash. We don't ever make anybody pay for anything. Okay. So that's a that's a cool idea. I did but not know we pay for all the shipping. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I will personally pay for all that shipping for you guys. Um, no big deal at all. So hopefully there's uh, some really good cards in here because the other one it was it was a mediocre pack. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the. But I want to get see somebody get a doubling season out of there. So stay tuned. We'll see you on the very next MTG Casual Commander. Trample that like button. And if you dare, comment below. Let the magic continue.